Last time I mentioned that we conclude the Lord's Prayer with a doxology. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever. Amen. And similarly in our tradition, we start the Lord's Prayer either with the invocation in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Or with the doxology, blessed be our Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. Ornial Dermer Jesus Christos. Amen. Today I'd like to focus on this doxology that precedes saying or singing the Lord's Prayer. This doxology is also a statement of faith. We are acknowledging Jesus to be both Lord and the Messiah. As we read in the Acts of the Apostles, chapter 2, verse 36, Therefore, let the entire house of Israel know with certainty that God has made him both Lord and Messiah, that is Christ, this Jesus whom you crucified. If you recall from our last uh, session, a doxology is an expression of praise to God. The word here, blessed or nyal, stands for the biblical Hebrew word baruch. This word means something different depending upon who is doing the blessing. That is, depending upon which direction the blessing is going. From God to us or from us to God. A clear example of this is in our Rasul Badarag. After Holy Communion and the hymns of communion, the celebrant says a prayer beginning with the following words. Vor ornes zainosig, vor ornen eskesder. Translation, you bless those who bless you. Obviously, two different things are happening here. The same word, but different meanings. This idea of us blessing God and God blessing us is common in the book of Psalms. For instance, Psalm 134, one of the shortest uh, Psalms, reads as follows. Come, bless the Lord, all you servants of the Lord who stand by night in the house of the Lord. Lift up your hands to the holy place and bless the Lord. May the Lord, maker of heaven and earth, bless you from Zion. Here the people are invited to bless God. And then the leader of the assembly pronounces the priestly benediction, God's blessing upon the people. Here again, the same word is used in both cases. Now let's take a look at Psalm 103. One of the psalms from the night hour service, Kishirayin Jam. The psalm begins with an invitation to bless the Lord. Bless the Lord, O my soul, and all that is within me. Bless his holy name. Bless the Lord, O my soul, and do not forget all his benefits. And then the psalmist goes on to recount all the benefits that God has bestowed on us. That is, his blessings. He says, Who forgives all your iniquity, who heals all your diseases, who redeems your life from the pit, who crowns you with steadfast love and mercy, who satisfies you with good as long as you live, so that your youth is renewed like the eagles. And goes on like this for another 19 verses and then summons all creation to join in blessing God and concludes with the opening verse, Bless the Lord, O my soul, which frames the entire psalm. And there is only one proper response to all these blessings that God showers us with, benefits for our own well-being, and that is, to bless him in return, in the sense of praising him, to bless him in gratitude, acknowledging his blessings. 
These are the two meanings of that one word, to bless. The God who gives all these blessings, who saves and delivers and gives life-giving and life-sustaining gifts, is called blessed. For example, in doxology such as, Blessed be the Lord or blessed be God, which abound in the Bible. And in the New Testament, God's blessings come to us in and through Jesus Christ our Lord, as we read in Paul's letter to the Ephesians chapter 1. Blessed be the God and Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, who has blessed us in Christ with every spiritual blessing in the heavenly places, just as he chose us in Christ before the foundation of the world to be holy and blameless before him in love. He destined us for adoption as his children through Jesus Christ, according to the good pleasure of his will, to the praise of his glorious grace that he freely bestowed on us in the beloved. So it is proper and right to begin the higher matter, the Lord's Prayer, the prayer that Jesus gave us with a doxology directed to him by saying, Blessed be our Lord Jesus Christ. Amen and Amen.